I give up. She can't wear shorts. Ah! Oh! What about these? Can I wear these jeans? No, you're not allowed to wear jeans with holes in them. Okay, this is cute. What about this? It may be cute, but it's too short and spaghetti straps. Oh my goodness. What about this? Much better. It's in dress code. Good. Now, what are you gonna wear? Man, I'm just gonna wear leggings. Seven. 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 Seven days and 60 seconds. Rapid fire news. Go! The US here dropped ammunition this weekend for Syrian rebels in their fight against the Assad regime. And a seven year old boy is being sued by his aunt for jumping up to say hi to her and accidentally having her fall and break her wrist. Taliban fighters seized control of their first city in 14 years of war. And the Rangers lost in game five against the Toronto Blue Jays, and also Marty McFly came back. The Democratic debate on Thursday was the most watched in history with 15.3 million viewers. And a meerkat expert attacked a monkey handler over having an affair with a llama keeper. Malaysian authorities have arrested a hacker for accessing data on US military personnel. Goosebumps! Movie. Turkish fighter jets down a drone near Syria after it violated Turkish airspace. College football, crazy. On Sunday, John Kerry met with both Israeli and Palestinian leaders separately. Reportedly, a cancer drug may be able to reverse the effects of Parkinson's disease. New world record, 400 foot baguette. That's a big baguette. All right, guys, this week on accomplishments, we have Christian Mallard. He's been doing really awesome lately. All right, yay on three. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! yeah! for being featured on the Financial Services Scholar Athlete. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Here you go. It's for football. My coach chose me for it, and I was on TV for it. So it was just they gave somebody an athlete they felt was pretty good academically, and they chose me. So. There's a lot of things to do this senior year. We can't miss out on any of them, okay? Here. So I made a handy dandy to-do list. <laughs> Turkey Fest? Yes. Calm yeah. stuff? We're not, we're not. Yes. <laughs> Winter break? Yes. Gra grassroots? Yeah. Yes. Final exams? No. It's okay. Welcome to Cosletics. My name is Migs Martin, and I will be covering the latest sports news that happened this past weekend. With the results of this homecoming weekend's game, both teams and the audience can agree that this was one to remember. Taft leads off the game with the first touchdown by Michael Cooper, and by the end of the first quarter, Steven scores the bringing game to a tie. The second quarter coming through, Taft manages to score another touchdown brought by KJ Stevens, as well as a 26-yard field goal completed by Carlos Moreno. And now bringing in some action from the pool. This past weekend, our Raiders went up against Northeast's Winston Churchill High School. With both teams putting up a great effort, the Raiders fell short of another victory. But starting off the meet with the women's 4x50 medley relay, composed of Allison Schillick, Sofia Casolano, Georgia Guinan, and Aaliyah Martinez, our girls achieved second behind Churchill. Other commies swimmers included Christopher Lindley, Jax Barcelone, and Anthony Cruz. 
Lastly, providing a show for the last event, Johan Orozco's leg of the 4x100 freestyle relay really helped Taft to attain some points throughout pulling in a first place after going through a rough start in the race. And that concludes this week's Cosletics. Remember to come out and support our Raiders competitions weekly. All right, so this is what's going on. Francis has been on social media bullying people, and I need you guys to catch him. Girl, I heard from Isaac told Teresa that you eat cereal with your food. Girl, that's weird. Hey, I'm George. I'm 15 years old. What's going on? Oh, look at, look at my parents right here. That's my address, too. Right here. That's the year I was born. Uh, oh, that's my credit card number, but don't tell anyone. So, uh, yeah, what's up? I don't even know you. I live on 487 Donald Drive. We actually found where this kid lives. Man, really want to drive. Haven't you heard of the VOE forms? Yeah, I've heard of it, but I, mean, I don't know what it's all about. Well, maybe these guys can help us out. Hold up, let us show you how it's done. How to get your VOE, let's start with step one. Easy driver quarter playing hot crust buns. Make sure you let it process 24 to 48 hours. That way you can get your license and your driving powers. Once you start driving, you will feel really cool. So get your VOE form. Before or after school. And lunch. Marvelous weather we're having. What's so great about it? Oh, come on. Don't let a little rain dampen your spirits. <laughs> uh, just join us next week. <laughs>